everything around you that takes up space is called matter. And matter is made up of unimaginably tiny pieces called atoms. There are more than 100 different kinds of atoms. By combining with each other, they create a matter we can touch and see. Much like the 26 letters of the alphabet combine to form words and our entire written language. When two or more atoms combine, the particle they make is called a molecule. And atoms and molecules come together in enormous numbers to form matter all around you. Matter can exist in different forms. It can exist as a solid, which holds its shape. Wood, ice, and stone are all examples of matter that hold their shapes as solids. When matter can flow easily and take the shape of its container, it is a liquid. Water, milk, and honey are all liquids. Matter can also spread out to fill whatever space it's in, like air does. When matter acts like this, it's called a gas. These three forms of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, are called states of matter. States of matter can change, going from solid to liquid, and liquid to gas, and back again. It all has to do with the arrangement of atoms and molecules. Atoms and molecules in a solid are locked tightly together. But when the right amount of heat energy is applied, those atoms and molecules get moving. Gaining energy from the heat, they begin to vibrate and move faster until all those atoms or molecules break away from each other and flow more freely. When something solid becomes a liquid, usually by the application of heat, we call it melting. You've observed this many times. When chocolate or butter or ice cream melts, we are seeing this in action. And with enough heat energy, even very hard solids can be melted into a liquid state. Metals, like gold or aluminum, can be poured into different shapes. Even certain kinds of rock, when heated enough, melt and begin to bubble and flow. The opposite action is also true. When the liquid form of matter is cooled enough, it can freeze. Freezing happens when all of the atoms or molecules slow down and become locked together, changing the liquid into a solid. This is what's happening when water freezes into icicles or fresh cream is frozen into a tasty treat. Since solid matter holds its shape and liquid matter does not, many of our favorite things can be created by taking advantage of these changing states of matter, like chocolate candies and gold bars. So the next time your popsicle melts on the counter or you're enjoying ice skating on a frozen pond, Think about the different states of matter all around you and how they make the world such an interesting place.